Uh, my name is Ladeo Winling. I'm an assistant professor in the history department and I teach uh, courses in public history, preparing historians to work in non-academic settings like museums, archives, and so forth. My name is Carmen Boltz. I'm a second year MA student in the history program here at Virginia Tech. I was the project manager for the Newtown exhibit. Um, basically, that meant that I was the middleman who translated information back and forth between the team at the library, um, Dale, our professor in the public history course, and the liaisons for the four committees. The class was an introduction to public history for graduate students, um, giving them an opportunity for a hands-on project, um, presenting and interpreting like a body of historical research to one of these like audiences outside the classroom. Uh, the key project of the class was an exhibit on Newtown, uh, a local African-American neighborhood, and it gave us the opportunity to um, introduce the Virginia Tech community to the history of this neighborhood, which now no longer exists and there's very few traces of it. So the exhibit, um, the official name was Newtown Across the Color Line. The idea behind it was to kind of unearth this community, this part of Blacksburg history that has essentially been erased from the map. All that remains of the community is the St. Luke and Oddfellows Hall, which most people probably know as the white building behind B-dubs. A fraternal organization, a special chapter for the African American community within the International Order of the Odd Fellows, and so they couldn't uh, they couldn't be members of any other Odd Fellows organization, and so they got their own special charter, and that's the St. Luke's and Odd Fellows Hall that still stands today. We thought it was very important to kind of resurrect that and um, orient the audience towards that community. I think that might be what makes it unique, the purpose behind the project, really to um, take a spatial approach and show any member of the audience that there was a community here. It was an integral part of Blacksburg history, uh, despite there being no, essentially no trace of it left. Uh, the North End Center basically stands where the actual community was during the first half of the 20th century. Some of the most interesting artifacts we found um, included uh, a ritual uniform for the Odd Fellows organization that was uh, included and used in several ceremonies. There is a key that um, members of the Odd Fellows organization presented to the town of Blacksburg um, when there is the decision to um, restore the Odd Fellows Hall and for the town to kind of take on that responsibility of preserving it. Ginger Wagner was a student who lived in the neighborhood um, in the 1970s and uh, one day she had kind of gone around to the neighborhood and taken photos of some of her neighbors, some of the buildings, um, and just kind of brief um, slices of life, um, including uh, one of her neighbors uh, who was over 100 years old at the time and one of the most enduring Newtown residents right, over the course of the 20th century. It's a long process. A class prior to this class actually did sort of the preliminary research on Newtown, went through land deeds at the Montgomery County Courthouse, um, did preliminary research at um, Virginia Tech Special Collections through the BMCF, and brought all that together to kind of create a narrative of Newtown. And so really getting to see the steps that were taken to create something tangible that people can come see that can inform the audience um, about this community and where it was and what its significance was, was really, I think, the most special or, I don't know, fulfilling part of the project. The library was um, the best place because of the, the kind of enthusiasm and the track record of the library team, um, the potential audience introducing Newtown to the Virginia Tech community, and uh, the space, right? A great location in the kind of reformulated second floor of the library just near the circulation desk uh, would give it great exposure. I said at the outset, um, we pull this off, it's going to be a miracle, and they pulled it off. Come to the exhibit. It's open um, in the lobby of Newman Library until November 20th.